Hi, my name is Norman Lüttich. I am the technical director for building EMEA at Bentley Systems. Thank you for watching this overview presentation on how our Bentley technology is helping Revit users. As an Autodesk design company, you might ask yourself why you should pay attention to a Bentley presentation. Well, first of all, this is not about questioning your choice of a BIM solution. But we are convinced that we have technology that helps you to increase your efficiency without changing your workflows or your user interface. Being a trusted partner in many large projects, we've seen a lot of different solutions. And being a frequent guest speaker at Revit Technology Conferences, we learned a lot about issues Revit users are having. And here's what we have seen. While following, following the concept of a central monolithic model, you would probably define work sets and have a team working in parallel on designing the model. To keep all the parametrics, everybody in the team needs to have a full copy of the information model. While your design team is working, the model is growing. And I think there is no question about the fact that those information models become very, very big. While the design is changed, everybody in the team has a continuous need for synchronizing his change with the central model. So this is producing a lot of network traffic of getting all those models transferred across the network. This is taking a lot of time. So in this time, waiting for a transfer, your design team is not designing. But this is even the good story, because in worst case, people might get disconnected from the central model and start working with outdated copies, hoping that the changes to the central model would not have any major impact on their design. And if you have ever been in a situation of having an outdated copy being synchronized in the last minute in a critical project phase into a central model, you know what I'm talking about. So let me take this system diagram and park it, as I will show you later how we will be able with Bentley technology to solve those issues. Interestingly enough, Autodesk is now proposing to split the parametric model into submodels and to aggregate those together. So the process of aggregating is taking place on the user's workstation, so each user has to connect to all parts of the model. And unfortunately, the user becomes responsible for maintaining the connections and for ensuring that he has the latest version of each model, and this even across versioning, renaming or movement of files. So imagine how much time your users are spending with healing those linked relationships. As we do have a good solution, allow me to park that system diagram as well. Let me go to another topic. This is the management of standards and families. It is very common that users are importing information from families. Those families are stored locally and they are decentralized. So if somebody is using families in a project adding objects and he might be leaving on vacation, another project member who might need that information in that time could not have access to this family as it is stored locally. So I will show you later how we will address this with a managed process to store families. And let me finally raise the issue of integrating reviewing users. For sure, you do not want to install a full Revit suit on the machine of a project reviewer or controller. But due to the proprietary lockdown data format, you are left with limited interoperability and even worse, with very limited capabilities of publishing information in a neutral format. Let me please sum up what we've seen so far. We've seen that large model sizes are resulting into performance issues, that information is left unmanaged and that you have a high risk of people working with old data. We've also seen that a link content needs to be managed manually by the user and that we also have standards and libraries stored in an unmanaged and uncontrolled way. And finally we just covered the very limited interoperability and the poor publishing capabilities. So as you have seen, everything here is pretty much about getting your information managed. So here's what we at Bentley System are doing. We are taking 
your information model and place it in a structured and managed environment. And we are connecting your team to that environment. This could be via local area network, a wide area network or even VPN connection. So while your team is connected to that environment and working on the models, designers are updating the model. And we implemented some technology which is called Delta File Transfer. Delta File Transfer allows you to transfer only the changes you've done to the model. So imagine how dramatically this is speeding up the synchronization time. Of course we did some tests before we released this technology to the market. So we have taken a 60 megabyte design model it ran about 7 megabyte of changes and did a synchronization with pure Revit technology and within the integrated environment. And here are the results. While well, just using Revit would take you 6.5 minutes to get the model synchronized, we reduced the time to just 1.5 minutes by using a project-wise integrated technology. So this is a speed up factor of 4.5 times. So go ahead and make up your own numbers. Think about how big your design teams are, how big your design models get, and how many times a day you need to synchronize your model. So there is a massive saving in network transferring time. But this is just part of the story. Of course you only need to update your model when you are sure that there has been a change to the central file. And on the other hand side, you don't want to miss an update that happened because it might have an impact on your work. Therefore, we implemented change alerts. So once a model is updated in the central environment, a change alert gets triggered and published to the rest of the team. So everybody does know that something with the central model has been changed and can use Delta File technology again to update his local copy of that model. By doing that, we ensure that network traffic is limited only to the changes and we ensure that everybody is using up-to-date information by sending out those alerts. And this is how we address the first issue. So, let's get moved to the second one. As we at Bentley are following a federated information modeling approach for a very, very long time, the concept of splitting a model into zones and aggregate them together is deeply integrated in all of our solutions. So here's how that works. Each information model file becomes a global unique ID in the central environment. This allows to identify each information model, even so it might have got renamed, moved, or there might be a new version on that. On top of that, the linked relationship is also managed in the system automatically, so you don't need to take care of getting all the files together because the system will do for you. Once you're opening a file, all the information linked into that file will be provided to you automatically. And this is a really good solution of addressing issue number two. When it comes to the management of families or project standards, we just simply store all this within the managed environment as well. So everybody in your team will have access to all of your libraries and standards all the time by just being connected to a central environment. Another interesting topic is the support for reviewing users. Of course we do integrate them into the managed environment as well, but as we stated before, you do not want them to have a full-blown design solution on their machines. But somehow they would need to get access to kind of an information model, which contains the designs and the business data. A reviewing user would need to extract information from there, which could be both graphical or alphanumerical, and the extraction will be done for different purposes and will contain different subsets of information. So while you find on the Revit side a very locked down format, the reviewing process requires a very open and interoperable format. Therefore, we came up with the iModel. The iModel is a solution that is fully integrated into the managed environment. It contains both the graphical and alphanumerical information in an optimized format for reviewing needs. So what could you do with an iModel? Well, first of all, you could use this in an application called Bundler Navigator. This allows you to walk through your design to analyze data by doing queries to run clash detections or schedule simulation. So this is a very powerful tool helping you to review your model. Secondly, we allow you to publish from there. So within that environment, 
you can easily do 2D drawing creation. You can even do publishing into 2D or 3D PDF. And you can do renderings using the Luxology rendering engine included in the Navigator solution. Finally, by using web service, you can even have your Revit model being published into web viewing formats, including all of the business data. And we allow you to extract business data information using a free and open ODBC interface. This allows you to connect to Excel, Access or any .NET application. So you could think about solutions like connecting your schedules coming from a Revit model with some external tables about pricing and do first cost estimation. On the other side, we support interoperability. So this is not just about your Revit model, but you can combine it with other information coming from IFC, WG, DGN or any other format. So you could do clash detection and simulation across different applications used in a project. And as this technology is a core technology we use in our Bentley platform, we have some additional tools being developed around that, which is like a digital pen for markups or technology to view it on a mobile device like the iPad. So you make your Revit model being transportable as a mobile iPad model. Let me sum up our offering here. We talked about Delta File Transfer technology, saving you a lot of time when synchronizing your model. We talked about change alerts to ensure everybody stays up to date with the model information. We talked about global unique IDs to ensure you can reach out for every linked information even so it might get renamed or moved. And we talked about keeping the relationship managed in that environment and automatically publishing all the linked information to the user requesting an information model. We talked about the management of standards and libraries within the managed environment. And we talked about publishing into an iModel format, which is a very, very interoperable format, it allows you to run clash detection, schedule simulation, and use that format to publish in other formats like 3D PDF or even to extract data by using an ODBC interface. And the very good news on top of that is that we can implement our quick start package within just one week. And this includes even a quick start training. And remember, we don't need massive training of your users because we stay with your workflow and the users are still working in the Revit interface without having any big change to their daily workflows. Okay, so before you might sign off on all of that, you might ask yourself, okay, what's my return of investment? Let me therefore pull a number out of a NIST report. This number says that 40% of project time is spent looking and validating information. While project-wise ensures that all files are easily locatable and that everybody has the right information on time, we can reduce that time dramatically. Think about that. Thinking about a project team with 10 team members, and let's just estimate some loaded cost per person per annum of about 100,000 euros. And if we could just save 10%, so decreasing from 40% to 30% for looking for information, this is already 100,000 euros saved, or a full man year saved that could be spent for doing more designs. If we could take it higher to 15 or even 20%, this could be 200,000 euros being saved in your project a year. And on top of that, don't forget about the time saved using Delta File Transfer. This was a factor by using integrated environment and project-wise of 4.5 multiplied by each time you synchronize the model. And as remember that, this was with 7 megabytes of changes within a real project. You will have a lot more. So make up your own numbers. Or just refer to what DPR, one of our users of the solution, is saying that we supercharged network performance and have a tremendous impact on collaborating with business partners. That they are already happy users and what I would like to sum up with is isn't it time for you to use ProjectWise to really enable your BIM solution to work efficient, collaborated and a large team? So if you're interested either contact me, contact your local Bentley building salesperson or just visit our dedicated homepage which is www.bentley.com slash Revit. I'd like to thank you for watching this overview video and at the same time I would like to invite you to watch also our recorded solutions presentations on ProjectWise for Revit. Thank you.